Hi, I'm Jeff Ludi, the window expert. You say, what are you doing, Jeff? Well, this is kind of a cool little trick, right? We've got our 1970s bathroom infrared heat light really warming this thing up and you can see it's spinning pretty fast. Can you see that? That's kind of cool. And you know, we've got all these different types of glass we can put in there to show how it changes stuff. And you know, energy efficiency really comes to mind, especially that we're hitting these summer months and in Houston, for example, down here where I'm at, gosh, it can get so hot and so humid. And one of the most frequent questions I get from people is like, Jeff, can you tell me please, what window should I buy for energy efficiency? Like my light bill was $800 last month and I've got to save some money. I've got to cut my light bill down or my heating bill was like, you know, 500 bucks and it's never been that high and what am I going to do? So I thought I'd just do a little bit of a walk and talk with you. Let's walk around and, and I want to talk to you a little bit about some of your options for that. Let's start with talking about glass, right? We just we're here at the glass table. Look, 80%, 90%, 95% of your window is glass. So the most important decision you have to make first about energy efficiency is what glass am I going to use? And I've made a couple of different videos, one comparing double pane to triple pane. We'll put that down below in the description. Also made a video talking about energy efficiency and comparing different types of glass, different amount of coatings. Talk about low E, talk about argon. That's a separate video. We really do a deep dive into that. I think you ought to go check that out. We're gonna put that down below as well. But once you've decided on good glass, and in my opinion, cardinal glass makes the most options and they make the best glass for residential windows. It's the cleanest. It has the least amount of distortion. It really works well without making the house too dark, right? Once you've decided on your glass, now you've got to decide on what frame material because the frame is what's going to be the only other portion of your window, right? So like, for example, right here, this is a beautiful window and I show this to people a lot and they say, oh, is that aluminum? I thought aluminum wasn't very efficient. No, this is not aluminum. This is an ultra premium vinyl product made by a company called Anlin based out of California. We sell it here in Houston. We sell it at our location in DFW and you can find great window dealers all over the country who sell this product. You can go to thewindowexperts.com. I've got a list there of great window companies that we personally know do really good work like we do here in Houston and Dallas, and you can check them out. But Antlin makes a really great product that is super high energy efficiency. As you can see in this video, look how they're injecting foam into the cavity of this window. So not only is vinyl great at not conducting heat and cold, Vinyl's great, even greater when you inject it with foam. What does the foam do? The foam helps reduce the transfer of heat and cold, and it also helps reduce sound, and it helps reduce condensation, that foggy stuff you get on your glass sometimes. So vinyl is probably, in my opinion, going to be the most energy efficient product at the lowest price. Of course, when I say lowest price, I mean not bargain basement junk window, right? because those don't last at all. That's a really big waste of money. You're wanting to save money, save money. That's the reason we're, you're watching this video, right? So good, high quality vinyl, buy it once, it'll last forever. Don't buy that junk. Everyone agrees, worst junk in the world. It's huge, but it's no good, as Donald would say. Buy a really good vinyl window and you're not gonna have those problems. Now, we just move on to another product. These are all vinyl, by the way. Really high quality vinyl products. Then you get into your aluminum products like this. This is a Don Young aluminum window. And you say, Jeff, I thought aluminum was terrible. I thought I was supposed to replace my aluminum window. Well, if you live up north, you're probably not gonna wanna put aluminum windows in your house. But if you're down in the south, where the cold is not the primary concern, it's the heat, aluminum does really well, especially aluminum 2.0, upgraded aluminum. I've got some great videos on that too, where you can see this actually has a thermal break, <clears throat> thermal break, this little black bar right here, okay? This separates the outside piece of aluminum from the inside piece of aluminum and does not allow as much of that heat to jump and transfer into the house. And it doesn't allow as much of your heat in the winter to escape to the outside. So can I do aluminum? Yes, if you do high performance aluminum, it's not gonna be as efficient as vinyl. It's gonna cost a little more, but you're gonna have some other benefits to aluminum and I cover those in multiple videos. Okay, so you say, Jeff, what's next? Well, then you've got your ultra premium aluminum products. They're gonna be even more energy efficient. And of course you can get them in like these giant sizes. This is a door made by a company called Western. 
And this stuff is really, really uh, great, and it's going to do a better job of resisting the heat and cold. You can see right here, it's got also that same thermal break. You see it right there, it's got the thermal break, and that really does a good job of separating that heat uh, from the inside to the outside. And then we also even have this product with what we call a thermal strut, which is even more energy efficient. And they make beautiful windows. As you can see here, this is one of their windows. Very nice contemporary look. This one has more of a kind of a steel pattern like you see on a steel window uh, at a much more affordable price. So, you know, going up in price, you can keep going up in price, but it doesn't mean you have to give up energy efficiency. Now, people say, Jeff, what about wood? I heard wood was a really good product. Well, wood is a very natural insulator Wood does a really good job of insulating. In fact, if you've probably had wood windows in an old house, if you live somewhere in the Midwest, you know they do a good job of that, but they're not very good at expansion and contraction if they ever get wet or moisture or they could rot. And that's why we have the introduction now of an aluminum exterior with a wood interior. This aluminum exterior does not conduct the heat and cold into the house because you have the wood as your, as your break but it does prevent the wood from expanding and contracting like it would if you didn't have any protection. And it does not allow the wood to get wet, therefore the wood's not gonna rot. So I don't know that I'm a fan of all wood windows unless you need them for historic reasons. I would do a window with an aluminum exterior if you're gonna want to go wood on the inside. Here's another beautiful example. This is Anderson. That's Anderson's flagship product, their E-Series. Here's Pella. This is a really good product as well. And then you go to your composites, right? Composites are the future of windows. Why? Because composites will last forever. Composites don't have the same issues that vinyl have with the sun. They don't have the same issues that uh, aluminum has with the heat and the cold. They don't have the rot issues it would have. You can get almost all the benefits of all the windows encompassed into one product and it's going to be a composite product. Now, if you've got about another 12 or 15 minutes to hang out with me after this video, I promise you it'll be worth your time to go check out my in, uh, Infinity video that I made on this product. I'll put the description down below. This is an Infinity product made by Marvin. It's Infinity from Marvin. Terrific, terrific product. It's not extruded, it's poltruded. You'll learn more about that. It's really one of the best windows on the market. In fact, it's my favorite window. I put this window in my house last week. I had three pillow windows that were rotting. I took them out, I put this in. These things are gonna outlast me, and I'm a very young man, by the way. So what do you think? What are your choices? You have vinyl, you have wood, you have aluminum, you have composites. To me, the most cost-effective way to get a good quality window is vinyl, but the best value for a long-term relationship between you and your windows and a beautiful window on top of that is to go with a composite. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my website, thewindowexperts.com. If you live in Houston or DFW, you can contact me there. We'll come out and take a look at your project or you can come into my showroom. And if you live somewhere else, I have a great list, a big long list of window companies all over the country. I probably know somebody near you. I could point you in the right direction.